Hey everybody, it's Katie Farber here. And I know we're all gonna have a lot more time at home and what better time to really dig into some good books and to tell you about one of my most favorite things, bless you, my cat Aggie just sneezed, um, tell you one of, about one of my most favorite things that happens every early spring and that is the crossing of the spotted salamanders. Yes, these fine beauties cross all over New England, actually from Canada all the way down almost to Florida on the East Coast, and they cross and they're very secretive, and I'd like to read you a picture book about their crossing um, and share a little bit about them with you. And then we can talk a little bit about salamander migration, and you can ask me any questions that you have, and then I'm hoping that you will become a salamander defender yourself and maybe even go out with your parents or your caregivers and help them cross the roads safely while keeping yourself safe. So, without further ado, this is Salamander Sky, written by Katie Farber and illustrated by Meg Sedano. Just look at that beauty right there. Whew. Salamander Sky. I watch the rain slide down the glass, pitter-patter, drip-drop, a flutter in my heart of hope that this is the day, my day to help the salamanders. I should be getting dressed for school, brushing my teeth, stuffing my backpack full, sliding on my shoes. But the flutter won't go away because it's April, the month, my name, and thousands of salamanders might cross the roads tonight. I know this. My mom, the scientist, taught me the story of the spotted salamanders. They live below the ground, under layers of earth, snug among the roots, hidden and secret most of the year, waiting, waiting for the rain to be just right on a few spring nights, pouring for hours and hours, coating the world in wetness. Perfect for a sopping, slimy, shy creature to creep up and out of its tree root home across rumbling roads, through sopping wet leaves, to the ponds and pools for a spring ball like no other. They matter, these prehistoric looking bulgy eyed beauties. My mom taught me salamanders show us when water is clean, when it is polluted. If they are gone, the water is in trouble. But each year there are fewer of these sensitive creatures. They matter to our woods, our ponds, our wetlands, all connected to everything that lives here and everywhere else, a piece of the puzzle. This is where they live and this is their life cycle. These secret creatures matter but their path is not easy. Pollution, roads, buildings, climate change, all hurt them. I want to protect these quiet, mysterious creatures who only come out on a scattering of nights, maybe tonight, a night in April, the month, my name. The school day crawls on slowly like a salamander, minutes into long hours, Staring at the clock, all I can see is rain and bright yellow spots. Home, dinner, homework, all of it as rain falls in sheets. Mom smiles and says, maybe, maybe. I'm reading in bed, not sleeping, waiting, just like the salamanders. Finally, mom pokes her head in, grins, nods. I pop up from my bed into loud rain pants, thick rubber jacket, squeaky boots, out into the cool night air. It's finally here, my time to help the salamanders. Out they go. We walk down the dirt road, squish, squash, squish, rain pelting us sideways. I feel a chill deep in my bones, even though I am not cold. We scan the wet, shiny road for a four-legged, slow-moving friend, making its way steadily back to where it started, the pond and the wetlands where it was born.
trouble is, salamanders are slow and cars come quick. Many are hit by people who drive and don't know this night is for spotted salamanders. So we come out to look for them, to carry them across the road to where they would safely go if we didn't drive here. Do you see them up there? Do you see them? I sweep my eyes back and forth, eyelashes dripping, my mom ahead, shiny and slick too. We are like two ghosts wandering together down this dirt road light from the flashlights scattering in the rain. Then I see a long black body, bright yellow spots, tiny toes and fingers. My heart leaps to my throat. Mom, I yell, I found one. Do you see it there? So excited. When I pick it up, its body is cold and heavy. Its big eyes look up at me. I carry it across the road, set it down gently on the other side. Deep inside, I feel something. I feel warm, even though I'm dripping wet. There is a glow in my chest. I have done something good. I turn back and smile at my mom, rain dripping into my mouth, and look for more friends to help cross the road under this perfect salamander sky. There they are again. The end. So now, how April feels in this book is exactly how I feel every year as I wait for the night, the night that the spotted salamanders cross it, on the dirt road in front of my house. And I go out for hours and help them cross. And it's one of the most magical times and one of the most incredible things in nature I think you can see. Um, so I really encourage you um, to look at the other uh, videos and resources um, that are attached here and learn about them. They're really incredible. And there's all sorts of scientists and researchers and artists that are writing about and illustrating this beautiful creature. And the many other amphibians too that also cross, like spring peepers and wood frogs. Many of them all cross on a handful of nights and that's coming up soon. Also, Attached is this incredible illustration of a vernal pool um, that was illustrated by the illustrator of the book, Meg Sedano. And what she's made here is a vernal pool. And vernal means spring, means temporary. So when the snow melts, it makes these ponds and pools that are habitat for the amphibians. That means that they live there, they'll go lay their eggs there, they return to where they're born. That's why they're crossing the roads. And this is an illustration of one and it's a coloring page for you. So you hopefully can print this out and color it and then if you take a picture and you attach it here, you send it to me, I would love, love to see it. And you can see how they're kind of underwater here. So more to come. Um, but my friend Sky and I wish you a very good evening and we're happy to share Salamander Sky with you and please be in touch and stay healthy. Thanks. Bye.